two boys and I've just been working here at Pizzeria since I was a little girl. I grew up here then. I got married in 1989. I moved away to Italy for like about 10 years. And then we decided to move back and continue the tradition that my father had started. And we've been together with my brother. We're a family-owned restaurant. We've been in business for since 1970. Uh, my dad started the business. And we've continued the tradition of homemade quality food. Right now we're going under the name of Brothers Pizzeria, but we're expanding to a new location and we've added Pizza Yolo by Brothers. Quality of this food is very high quality food. We, uh, we prepare it fresh every day and sometimes our orders take a little bit longer to make because we prepare it the minute the customer orders it. Nothing's pre-made or pre-frozen. Uh, Suppliers, we have uh, produce suppliers, the meat suppliers. Uh, for our foods is one of our biggest suppliers for our mozzarella that we, we use for our pizzas. Uh, we have Driscoll Foods for our produce department. Uh, and Butcher Boys is another one of our big ones because we sell a lot of uh, grilled chicken. That started in 1970. My dad first opened it. And and ever since then, we've been here together as a family. My sister also worked with us. And we've continued the tradition, as I said before, of, you know, quality food. I did start another restaurant in 2002 to about 2004. Um, it was doing good, but we, couldn't have one, we were short help, so we decided to just combine and stay together with my brother. So we sold one, and now we're all sticking to this brother's pizzeria that we're Two years ago, we decided to expand, and which we thought would take like six months, and said it's been two years. Um, the permits have been taking, were taking forever, because of the way the situation is right now. Uh, most towns don't have engineers or they combine them with other towns, so we had to send our, our permit to the state. And to get approved, we had to wait um, until you know our papers came on top and they finally got approved. And two years later, here we are in the new place, but we still haven't opened, hopefully in the next few days. First of all, that would be my dad who started the business, my brother Anthony, and my husband Robert, which is here. Hello, guys. <laughs> uh, the biggest surprise was uh, the long hours that it takes to run a business, a restaurant in particular. You work 12, 14 hours a day, but at the end, the, when you see the volume of customers come in, that satisfies you. And also another thing was, um, when we decided to move over to the bigger space, how the customers all were so happy and, re and happy that we were actually moving, um, made me feel better that the customers were happy that we were doing this change. We're expanding to a bigger place, so we're gonna be serving more people to dine in. Um, we'd like to see more customers come in and get served and of course, do more catering. This is Alessandro Menino, your director slash producer. I'd like to thank Vera Menino for giving us the time to interview her and videotape her business, because we know she has a very busy schedule with running her own business. And lastly, I'd like to thank you all for watching my video, and I hope you enjoyed it.